Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Libra. All Libra placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Libra in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Libra, please. Okay, so I just heard sacred geometry. Sacred geometry could be important to you. What is sacred geometry? It's like the structure of the universe. I just heard the structure of sound. I just heard 440 or 4, 432. Different tunings, tuning forks. Like the, the way you tune your guitar or the way that you tune music. And... I'm reminded, before we get into your cards, I'm reminded of in the early, what, what was it, the early 20th century or something, the standard tuning of instruments changed because everything used to be tuned to 432. 432 hertz, 432 hertz, all right, HZ, you can look this up. Everything was tuned to 432. Like all the different musicians and the different um, instruments in the orchestra would all tune their instruments so that they matched, right? And they'd be 432. But then something changed and they, the powers that be, so to speak, I think it was even like, I can't remember who decided to do this. Um, you could look this up. One of the governments decided to do this. They decided that everything should be tuned to 440. And different tunings and different sounds have different vibrations and they create different sacred geometries, different shapes. So you could see like you can see videos of this different sounds creating different kinds of wave patterns in water or different shapes in sand. You can look this up. It's a real thing. Like they'll they'll do experiments where they have different sounds in a speaker and then they put sand in it and then like it shakes it, you know, and it creates different patterns. Some of the patterns are really beautiful and symmetrical and like harmonious. And those are the kinds of things that make you feel really good. And then there's certain kinds of sounds that create really ugly, disjointed, asymmetrical, you know, unharmonious, not beautiful, like really not uplifting, low vibrational. So this is the difference between maybe we could say high vibrational energy versus low vibrational energy. And so I'm, I'm getting this, this message for you that some of the music that we listen to, if you listen to different kinds of music, it's either going to affect you one way or the other because your whole body is made of like water. We're like 70% water or something, you know? And so the vibrations that we feel are going to affect the shapes in our body. The way that our body vibrates is going to affect our mood and our outlook. There might be, um, this is interesting. So there might be, I'm getting an image really strong. Let me try to express this because I just saw a green spider out my window making a web. So I feel like this is very important and I'm not sure why, but I'm being guided to talk about it, of course. So I'm going to because that means it's important for this reading. But I saw a green spider out the window. But here's what I'm really seeing in my mind's eye. There is like a, um, in the basement, somebody's got a, like maybe an old house or you live in some kind of a a building obviously what, what like an apartment building or something and in the basement there's an old water heater i'm seeing like the cylinder the cylindrical old like gray metal water boiler water heater and something about this in the basement there's something in the basement it could be like the heater or the water or something it could be the central air conditioning or there is something that's vibrating and it's causing you anxiety and you don't know why you're so anxious. You don't understand why you're so anxious because you have a, a pretty good life. You eat well, you know, you've taken your medicine or whatever, like you've tried so hard. I really feel like I'm connecting strongly with somebody who has has tried to figure out why am I so anxious? Why do I feel this way? It's the thing in the basement. It's the thing. It's the, oh my God, I'm getting a chill. It's the water heater. 
you can't hear it. It's a sub audio sound, like a, it's sending out vibrations in the house, in the building. Why is this building so dangerous? Why is this old building, this old apartment complex, why is everybody who lives here is so unhappy? Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I just solved society's problem. <laughs> we need to think about how these sounds affect us and our mental health and our spiritual well-being. Too many vibrations. Um, now I'm getting the image of like leaf blowers, lawn mowers, that kind of thing, like a leaf blower. Somebody's got a leaf blower or somebody's always mowing their lawn. And you now I'm getting an image of somebody who lives where there's a lot of neighbors, like in a suburbs or something. And there's always somebody mowing the lawn in the background. And I need to light this other candle. And so these vibrations are a serious actual menace to society. And I'm just saying we should probably outlaw them. I'm going to go ahead and say let's abolish the lawnmower. Okay. And... <laughs> Okay, let me just leave it at that. So I, I think the real message is it's the sound noise pollution. And now I'm getting like whales in the ocean. Dolphins and whales in the ocean are beaching themselves because of the, the sounds of like tanker ships or like big boats and all the engine noise. The engines of all the ships, of the cargo ships, are giving dolphins and whales a headache and the dolphins and whales would like us to know that like this is why they beach themselves because they can't stand the noise because they're so sensitive because they use different sound frequencies to communicate with each other through the ocean and the ocean is conducive to these sound waves just like it's conducive to like waves in the ocean waves of water I don't I don't know like I'm getting like sound waves through the water as a medium so water is like a medium for sound it conducts electricity it conducts energy it conducts sound and the whales and the dolphins and other animals in the ocean are very very sensitive to sound and I'm getting somebody, I'm picking up on the energy who's, of somebody who can really relate to that. Um, you may even want to wear noise-canceling headphones, or maybe you already do. I'm getting the image of somebody who's walking down the sidewalk wearing noise-canceling headphones because you live in the city. And you can't really escape it right now. And you're walking down the street and somebody's got head. They Yeah, I'm seeing somebody who's wearing headphones in the sidewalk. And... There is a very loud car, like a muffler on the car, and it's so loud. And it's like, even with the noise-canceling headphones, you can still hear it. And also, this makes you feel it makes you feel unsafe because it's dangerous to not be able to hear when, like, maybe there's somebody coming up behind you. So there's this whole like anxiety because of sound and noise and the shapes that these sounds and the way that we tune our instruments and the way that music has changed because 432 is uh what is it divisible by 72 I don't know if this is true hold on I'm getting like it's divisible by like 72 and there are 72 names of God okay and oh wow this is like deep Okay, so 432 is much more in alignment with our spiritual nature and with this, like the connection with God, source, spirit, energy. 432 is a much better way to tune your guitar or your instrument. And this is what they used to do, and then they changed it. And then 440 is, I'm, I'm not sure if this is true, but isn't it like 44? I'm thinking it's divisible by 11, but 11 is like... Um, okay, in the Kabbalah, in the book of Thoth, the number 11 is like the shells. It's like a, it's like a cursed number. There's a number of a curse. So 440 is meant to drag us down because the powers that be want to dominate and control because certain evil powers came into dominance and they wanted to 
make sure that we can't compete with them. They don't want us to ascend. They don't want us to, there's an enemy and they, this is a lot. Okay, Libra, let's bring it down to earth. So we've got the Empress here. That's your energy, Venus and Libra. We've also got the 10 of pentacles, the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And then the five of pentacles is also here. I'm getting the hermit and the queen of pentacles as well. So this is talking obviously about your money and it's about your health and your well-being and your finances. And this is about like straightening things out, getting, getting it together, like spending time alone and being very, very comfortable. So it's like you're very wealthy and you're tapping into the spirit of the living knowledge, the spirit of the living knowledge that lives through us through, oh, there's the ace of pentacles. I love to see it. So you're coming into some money. You're coming into some knowledge. You're coming into some wealth, some material, healthy material finances. And it's like, it's as if you are, and how does this relate to what we were just talking about? I feel like this helps somehow because with the five of pentacles there, that is talking about that anxiety. That's the worry. That is the unhealthy vibration that we are walking through. There's that person walking through the city. There's that person who's got the weird boiler in the basement that's giving off spooky noises that makes you feel like somebody's watching you or you're going crazy or your house is haunted you feel like your house is haunted and you don't know why because you've never actually seen any apparitions and even when you've done ouija board or like done some seance or some scrying like you're not actually picking up on anything spiritually it's not that it's the vibration of the water he heater the water cooler or the water heater or like one of the appliances or something it's like there's this weird vibration there's this humming coming from downstairs and it's i'm also getting like this music boom 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 like something about the, the vibration there and so i see you now making some gradual changes and mo perhaps moving or or you've got this construction phase you're in the construction phase of perhaps a new house or you're getting into like a, yeah like a new house and you're going to be able to design this from the ground up. So if you're designing your house from the ground up, I see with this 10 of pentacles, the spirit of the living knowledge, you're incorporating things like sacred geometry. You can you have an opportunity to incorporate feng shui and sacred geometry and all of this like sensitivity to sound and light. And you're Libra, you're ruled by Venus. You you are beauty and harmony and all of that. So the Empress here is the, that beauty and that harmony and that comfort of living in an environment that is healthy and constructed to be like human, right? Human scale, not brutalist, cold and hard, not like, what am I saying? So it's built to a certain specification, like I'm getting an earth ship. You could be living in an earth ship or you could be living in a much more natural environment. I see something new here. You're going from a place of discomfort and unhealthy living situation with the five of pentacles. With this ace of pentacles, you're going into something new, a new living situation. And with the 10 and the empress and all of this here, Okay, you are going into a new living situation that is much more comfortable, healthy for you, in harmony with spirit and source energy and this and this sacred knowledge that that sacred geometry that is so important right now. Um, okay, so if you are doing this wherever you live now or wherever you're going to live in the future, you can take this knowledge, this information, this feng shui, how to design your house with feng shui, with the chi energy or ki energy in mind or the ka energy or whatever you want to call it. That's so there's different ways of arranging your furniture. So even if you're not moving to a new place, I feel like you should get into feng shui if you're not already and like figure out where to put your bed in the bedroom or like where to put the windows if you're building your own house and like get some sun catchers for the south facing window and bring in some sunlight 
love and light energy from your connection to the sun. Whatever you're doing here, you're putting a lot of thought into it and you're thinking about this by yourself. Like you're considering with the Hermit, the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, it's like you're in self-reflection or you are reflecting on what you need on the inside, what your spirit and soul needs right? This is like taking your inner riches, your inner sensitivity and bringing it out and expressing this richness, this wealth of inner sensitivity and knowledge and bringing it out and, and your environment around you is going to reflect that sensitivity. And it's going to be a lot more comfortable for you and a lot more positive for you so that you're not living in a place where everybody is constantly mowing the lawn and you're not living in a place that is extremely dangerous and everybody's sick all the time because there's a friggin' vibrating water boiler in the basement. Like there's something about the infrastructure of our lives that is not conducive to health and well-being. And frankly, sometimes I feel like that's intentional because if you don't care about the people that you're building this house or this building for, and in fact, you it's not even that you don't care, it's that you actively want to hurt them, or you subconsciously want to hurt them, or like, okay, so there's environmental, you could call it environmental racism, environmental classism, environmental, something going on with the infrastructure of our lives that instead of uplifting us and making us feel good and bringing us into our most productive vibration, it is intentionally or even maybe just subconsciously, but I'm going to go ahead and say intentionally designed to harm us, to hurt us, to especially certain other communities otherized, othered, marginalized, you know, minority, but it's, but it's, it hurts everybody though. No matter who you are, it, if you're sensitive, if you are alive, it hurts you. It hurts the animals. It hurts the, the dolphins in the ocean. It hurts the squirrels on the sidewalk. Like this is equal opportunity, environmental damage. Okay. We're all going to feel the effects of it. Right. But I'm just getting that for somebody, for some communities, there is a, a an intentional disregard whereas for other communities it's simply just like eh, I don't care like there are people we don't care about or there are people in power who don't care about us or who don't care about certain other people you know what I'm trying to say so it's like you know maybe I'm not the most articulate person for this job but this is the message that I'm called to speak on right now so I'm going to do my best forgive me if I'm missing the point, but like you can use this as a springboard to find more information about this because there are like structural issues that are coming up in your reading, Libra, that are affecting your vibration, your health. You're five, you're in this five of pentacles, but you're coming out of it because you're becoming very intentional about your design of your home and of your environment. You're you, you are tapping into that empress energy with that hermit and the queen of pentacles, etc. that we've got here and everything that we've been talking about to make some gradual changes or to enter the construction phase of building a better environment. I think your job here, Libra, is to take your aesthetic values and impose them. Impose them on the environment around you because it's going to help you feel better and it's going to help everybody else feel better too. If everybody in your apartment building is suffering from mental illness and unwellness and violence and crime, I want you to take a look at the actual infrastructure and what can you do in your own sphere of influence to heal and create a better living environment for everybody because I feel like it's something so stupid and so simple as a water boiler in the basement that's humming and nobody can really hear it. Maybe dogs can hear it or animals can hear it or dolphins can hear it or maybe some children can hear the vibration but it's like so low it's like but it's like below your ability to hear but it's still vibrating and it's still it's still sending these waves of emotion. It's sending these waves of, it's, it's literally violence. This is almost like a form of like unconscious assault in a way. It's assaulting your water. You are 70% water and this vibration is harming you. So I want you to look into that evidently. This is what this is about because this is how you 
upgrade. This is how you become more productive, wealthier and healthier. I feel like this is more about health than it is about finance, but the finance is like directly related to the health. Because if you are not healthy, if you don't have the access to food, if you don't have the access to clean water, you know what I mean? If you can't sleep at night because there's a frigging water heater in the basement that's sending sub audio vibrations to disturb you, like you're not gonna be productive, you're not gonna be healthy, you're not gonna have the wealth that you would have because you're not as productive as you would be. And I'm I'm thinking that some of this is intentional, some of it is unintentional, but it doesn't really matter. Intentions are important in some ways, but in the end, it's like the actions are more important. The consequences are what we really have to deal with right now. We don't need to talk about intentions. I'm sick of that. But like, what is the outcome and how can we improve the outcome? I think that is something that is important to this particular Libra reading today. Libra, you are ruled by Venus. Your aesthetic tastes and sensitivities are incredibly important to your mission here, to your purpose here in this lifetime. So I want you to take that message, how it resonates. Oh my gosh, like resonating is that like reverberation, that resonation, right? We talk about taking a message how it resonates for you how it makes you feel how the vibrations pass through your body and how it, what it leaves you with right so like take it as it resonates take the environment as it resonates what is it talking to you about is it all concrete and asphalt and and dirty or is it like human we don't live in human environments in these cities we need more like green spaces and like more beauty in the environment. So I feel like whoever I'm reading for today, you are called to like literally impose. I'm not even saying suggest. I'm saying like actively working to impose beauty and goodness and order and harmony and loving energy into your environment like feng shui or like inside of your own house doing that cleaning it up feng shui whatever and then outside as well for the community because for whoever I'm listening to or reading for right now, it's all about your personal self, yes, but it's also about sharing that living knowledge with the community and the people around you. You could do a mural, you could be getting involved in the arts, you could get involved in some kind of community thing, or maybe you already are involved in like a community art program or like cleaning it up or like making it better or advocacy for people who maybe don't have the type of articulate resources or like command of the language or something like I feel like you're you're a spokesperson you're an advocate because not everybody has a voice but you do or you have a platform or like you have connections or a network or resources or something about you puts you in a position or you will be put into a position because you understand what we're talking about and you're able to make this understood by others. Like the way that you speak about it, other people can understand it. You, you comprehend this so well, it's so natural to you. And then you're able to take that natural understanding and like the way that you speak to others about it, they understand it too because you can explain it to them in a way that they understand it. And it's like, how are you going to get the landlord to change the water heater, right? But like, it's, a, it's, I don't know. I personally, I'm not sure how to do that. But like, it's a start. You know what I mean? You could start with somewhere. You got to start somewhere. And if you could figure that out somehow and prove it or like, at least talking about these things to get involved in that conversation. I don't know. This is what I've got for you today, Libra. I feel I feel like I'm supposed to leave it there. So it's like you're contemplating what does it mean to live in a healthy, stable environment and how does the beauty and the harmony and the the healthy environment then like support and stabilize people's mental health and their physical well-being and like how does environment like that like influence crime and violence and like what if it was so simple as there is some kind of weird vibration that's pulsing through the environment that is agitating people's bodies and making them feel terrible 
And so they are behaving in such a way and it shows, you know what I mean? <sighs> wow. That's deep. Anyway, that's what I've got for you today, Libra. It's crazy. All right. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay?